Genelec Finnish company Genelec is primarily known for its loudspeakers and subwoofers designed for use in a variety of applications. Genelec products are used in radio broadcasting, post-production, studio work, commercial installations and, of course, home audio. For many years Genelec has been considered one of the leaders in the active speaker monitor industry. The history of Genelec began with one quite ordinary story. The Finnish state broadcaster YLE built a new radio center in Helsinki, which needed the most modern equipment. Juhani Borinius, an engineer working for YLE, was tasked to solve the problem of specialized loudspeakers to be installed in the studio areas of the radio room. At one of the speaker-related seminars, Juhani met his friends Ilpo Martikainen and Topi Partinen, graduates of the Helsinki University of Technology and postgraduate students in the Department of Acoustics. Borinius asked them to develop a studio monitor. The friends, who had been in love with electronics and sound since childhood, enthusiastically set to work. Already in a couple of weeks the first prototype of the speaker was ready. The model turned out to be quite promising, but it needed to be finalized. Encouraged by the first trial success, Ilpo and Topi set about refining their speaker and in 1978 they introduced the S33-way active monitor loudspeaker, which was ready for mass production. In the same year they founded Genelec in Helsinki. The name comes from the word combination Genius Electronics. Soon the company moved to the small town of Isalmi, located in the province of northern Savonia, eastern Finland. The Genelec workshop was located on Satamakatu Street in the basement of the apartment block where Martikainen lived. Ilpo Martikainen was born in 1947 and grew up in a farmhouse where reading, learning, speaking foreign languages, listening to music and practicing spirituality were highly valued. Ilpo was also interested in mechanics and electronics, which eventually became his hobby and later his profession. The mentioned S30 speaker was the first accurate shot of the young company and a real innovative product ahead of its time. A huge amount of engineering, measurements and tests were carried out. The three-way active model received high-precision tone controls for HF, MF and LF, an active crossover, a control unit protection circuit and a well-designed topology of built-in amplifiers connected in a triamping scheme, that is, one amplifier for each band or each speaker. And a patent-pending ribbon tweeter has been developed specifically for the S30. The first order came from the Italian public broadcaster Radio Audizione Italian, and the second from YLE. At that time Genelec employed only four people. YLE placed a large order for 340 monitor speakers and thus provided the staff with a full year's work. At the same time, Genelec started providing installation services related to sound reproduction and amplification. As a result, the company was able to sign contracts to install its audio systems in Finnish theatres, including the famous Finnish National Theatre. In addition, due to the special relationship between the USSR and Finland, Genelec provided sound services for the Assembly Hall of the Moscow Cardiology Hospital and for the Moscow Circus. The company also provided equipment for the Royal Opera House in Madrid. In 1981 Genelec sent a batch of its active monitors for the control rooms of the German public broadcaster ZDF in the town of Mainz. By this time, the company was facing an urgent question concerning the expansion of production capacity, as the space in the basement was extremely short. After a long search, in 1983 the company finally settled on the shores of Lake Poravisi in the same town of Isalmi. Since then, the company has expanded its facilities four times. After the last expansion, in addition to the production facilities, training rooms and demo rooms for auditions were added. In 1983, the first designs appeared for the innovative three-way 1022A model, which went into production in 1985. 
The speaker differed from its competitors by its rounded, anti-diffraction cabinet shape and was designed for medium-sized studios. For the tweeter and mid-range driver, there were hollows in the cabinet, which played the role of small waveguide horns, helped to obtain a more accurate directivity diagram and allowed to cover a wider listening area. In fact, it was the forerunner of the company's famous directivity control waveguide, DCW, technology, which was first used in 1984 in the 1022A3-way active monitor loudspeaker and in 1989 in the 1035A large active studio loudspeaker. Thanks to their well-thought-out design, Genelec speakers have been in demand since their introduction and production volumes have grown steadily. At the same time, the workforce expanded. Nevertheless, the early years of the young company were difficult, money was lacking, but the company survived. Exports helped the company to pass through the difficult initial path. In the 90s exports reached a peak. The company sent about 95% of its products to other countries. Among the countries where Genelec monitors were sent included Italy, Scandinavian countries, the Netherlands, Austria, Germany and the UK. A turning point for Genelec was the 77th Convention of the International Professional Society of Sound Engineers AES, held in 1985 in Hamburg. The company presented there a whole family of its active loudspeakers, a compact studio two-way mini-monitor 1019A equipped with two amplifiers in bi-amping mode, broadcast monitors 1022A and the S30. In addition, the universal three-way monitors 1024B and 1025A were brought to the event, which, in addition to radio broadcasting, could be used in music studios for recording and mixing. In total, there were already 12 monitor speakers in the company's catalogue at that time. In 1986 Genelec, in order to enter the Eastern market, began cooperation with Otaratec Corporation, Japan, which specialised in professional audio equipment, and in 1993 the Finnish company already had distributors in 45 countries. In 1989, the company's management decided to exit the installation services business and fully switch to the production of monitor loudspeakers. In the same year in London was presented a massive three-way monitor model Genelec 1035A with an inch compression tweeter in a DCW waveguide, a pair of 5-inch mid-range drivers in DCW waveguides and two 15-inch woofers. Each unit came with a separate module that included a three-channel amplifier crossover and audio processing unit. The 1035A speakers were designed to be built into studio walls and were created for neutral sound reproduction at extremely high sound pressure levels in large studio rooms. Each of these monitors weighed 142 kilograms. This speaker became very popular both in the UK and in large Japanese studios and basically paved the way for new types of high power monitors combining minimal distortion and low tonal coloration with high output power. In 1990 Genelec gained international recognition as one of the leaders in the production of studio monitors. From 88 to 90, in addition to the 1035A, the 1034A and 1033A were developed, large advanced monitors that provided high sound pressure and were designed for spacious studio environments. In 1991 Genelec introduced the legendary 1031A, which was inducted into the Technology Hall of Fame in 2014 and made audio industry history. The 1031A was a two-way active monitor housed in an enclosure with two vertically placed slotted phase inverter ports built into the front panel. The electronics were located at the rear of the cabinet and included two 120 watts amplifiers, an active crossover and overload protection circuits for each driver. There was a 1-inch metal dome tweeter housed in a shallow DCW waveguide and an 8-inch mid-range woofer driver. Each driver was serviced by a separate amplifier. The 1031A's good dispersion characteristics combined with its compact size made it an excellent choice for use as a versatile near-field studio monitor. Due to the special geometry of the waveguide, which uses the proprietary directivity control waveguide technology, 
high accuracy of the directivity diagram and stereo panorama integrity were guaranteed even when the listener was displaced relative to the speaker's radiation axis. Active crossover was used to obtain a cohesive sound, and at peak levels the model delivered a sound pressure of 120 dB. The 1031A was produced for 15 years and is still considered to be the forefather of all modern two-way studio monitors. In 1993 Janelec received the National Award for Export from the Finnish Foreign Trade Association, and in 1995 the company received the Export Award from the President of Finland. In 1996 Janelec launched its first active monitor speaker with an all-aluminium cabinet. The model, named 1029A, was characterized by relatively small dimensions, but had a fairly large internal space, as the high rigidity and strength of aluminium allowed to make the walls of the case thinner. The birth of the speaker 1029A was promoted by Italian and French distributors, who needed small-sized monitors. In 2002 saw the introduction of the 6040A two-way monitor, a design radically different from anything Janelec had done before. Renowned industrial designer Harry Koskinen was involved in the creation of this speaker. The smooth, rounded shape of the cabinet helped to minimize diffraction while providing a neat appearance. The speaker and the molded stand were one piece, with the active crossover, amplifier and inputs integrated into the base of the stand. In the same period, the firm introduced a new series of LSE subwoofers, and in 2004 it completely replaced its two-way monitor range with a new 8000 series, comprising the 8020B, 8030A, 8040A and 8050A near-field models, some of which were more modest in size than their predecessors. The downsizing of the models was linked to the change to a new housing material. Instead of the usual MDF, aluminium was used, which was more rigid and allowed the construction of compact thin-walled chambers. All models received a completely new look designed by Harry Koskinen. The aluminium anti-diffraction loudspeaker enclosures had smooth edges and a special geometry in accordance with the proprietary minimum diffraction enclosure technology. The models featured DCW waveguides and ISO pod stands with strong vibration isolation properties allowing the speakers to be precisely directed towards the listener, as well as horizontal positioning. At the rear of the monitors they had a wide port for the phase inverter system, which was a long, curved tube designed to eliminate turbulence in the outgoing air. 2006 saw the introduction of the Genelec 8200 DSP series monitor models, utilizing inbuilt DSP and software control. The series included two-way active speakers 8240A, 8250A and three-way 8260A. A special feature of this series was the ability to automatically adapt the speaker's performance to any acoustic environment through the use of AutoCal automatic calibration and Genelec loudspeaker manager software. Among other things, in the mid-2000s, the company began to update the subwoofers. The bet was made on special enclosures made in accordance with the proprietary technology LSE, laminar spiral enclosure. The middle part of such a subwoofer was a sheet of steel, which was twisted into a spiral and bounded on both sides by massive thick MDF plates, tied together with rods. Such a construction turned the middle part of the body into a kind of waveguide tube, which at a rather large length and volume did not take up much space and at the same time promoted smooth air flow without any noise and turbulent swirls. One of the plates contained the base driver, which was protected by an aluminium grill that also acted as a cooling radiator for the subwoofer's integrated amplifier. If we talk about newer Genelec products, then closer to 2020, the most important in the company's model range were the mentioned 8000 series of classic two-way monitors and 7000 series of active systems. The lineup was also expanded with SAM, Smart Active Monitor, which included the one subseries, innovative models with minimum diffraction coaxial drivers and oval base radiators built inside. 
In the same SAM range, there are the 8,000, 300, 8,000, 400 models, SAM subwoofers, as well as the main monitor subseries, consisting mainly of multi-way active monitor SAM speakers. In addition to the above, in recent years, Genelec's catalog has included speakers for home cinema and stereo. These are the G-series models and the F-series subwoofers. Ilpo Martikainen, one of Janelec's founding fathers, died in January 2017 at the age of 69. It's important to note that 2018 was Janelec's 40th anniversary year. At that time, the company unveiled its new S360 high-power monitors and 7382 subwoofers for immersive sound and opened its first company shop in Beijing, strengthening its presence in the Chinese market. At ISE in February 2019, the company unveiled its Smart IP technology, a system of smart network loudspeakers with audio, power and control transmitted over a single Ethernet cable. This technology became the basis for many of the firm's new products. In 2020, the company launched a new flagship monitor, the 1235A, combining the legendary sound of the classic 1035 with modern smart active monitoring technology. That same year, a new Genelec demonstration center opened in Boston. In 2021, Genelec revealed an updated version of its legendary 6040 floor standing speaker, the 6040R smart active model designed by Harry Koskinen offering more detailed and optimized sound with an eco-friendly design. Genelec celebrated its 45th anniversary in 2023. Earlier in the year, Genelec's interactive online virtual showroom went live. And later, at IC 2023 in Barcelona, the smart IP ceiling and wall-mounted loudspeakers, models 4435A and 4436A, were presented for the first time with aesthetically pleasing design and easy installation, for which they received the Best of Show award of the exhibition. In spring, at the AES Congress in Helsinki, Genelec presented the 8381A, a floor-standing adaptive main field monitor with a full-range accurate sound source that can work in any space. And in early 2025, Genelec won a Good Design Award for its Smart IP technology. It's no exaggeration to say that Genelec continues to move forward these days, combining innovation with a responsible attitude to business and remaining a privately owned company, which is not so common these days. Hopefully, the firm will continue to evolve and stay the course. Well, that concludes the video. As always, please support the channel with likes, subscriptions, comments or additional features you already know about. Until the next video.